In this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can set up your own custom GPT that will recursively crawl a URL to create a knowledge base for the chatbot. So GPTs are a new product that came out during OpenAI's Dev Day, and it's essentially a custom version of ChatGPT that you can configure and set up with uh, the data you'd like to provide it, whether you'd like to use Dolly or Code Interpreter. It makes it really easy to set up these chatbots, and you essentially don't really even need need any coding to get these up and running. Now with that said, I'll also show you how you can set this up within their API if you're looking to leverage uh, this within uh, something you might have already built or if you'd like to have more control than what's given through the GPT's interface. Now the way we're actually going to generate the file that we're going to use as our knowledge base is with this GPT crawler library. So if you head over to the GitHub repository for this, I'll put the description or the link in the description rather, and you can just pull this down, you can git clone it, set up a directory in your VS code, and we'll be using this to create uh, our knowledge file is what you can sort of think of it as. Now the way to get this up and running is very simple. So once you've pulled it down, you can either bun install or npm install. It might take a moment because it's going to install Puppeteer, which is a, a little bit of a bigger library. But once it's all set up, the nice thing with this is you're not using any uh, OpenAI uh, API for embedding or anything. You're just crawling it locally. So there's no cost to do this. It's relatively quick. It's going to be sort of limited in speed depending on how many pages it's crawling. So I'm going to show you an example example with Langchain. So essentially what I'm going to be doing here, I'm going to hit the URL that you see within line five here, and I'm going to only crawl the matching URLs. So essentially anything after the docs here, and then I'm going to set the max pages to crawl to a thousand then the output file is where it's going to generate the output. So I ran this earlier before the video and just to show you what this looks like. So it will generate this JSON document where it has the title of the page, it has the URL for the page. And in this example, it has the entire contents of the page. Now, if you want to get a little bit more specific with this, you also have a selector option where you can target specific areas of the page. But this is a sort of general catch-all where it will just grab all that HTML from the page. So once you've set it all up and you've configured it, all you have to do is either bun start or npm start. So I'll actually just run it here in the background. Now the one thing with this is if you do stop at mid run, it's not going to give you up until that point, it has to complete the run. So in the case of Langchain, I think it was 400 and some pages to go through all of their documentation and generate the output file that I have here. But say if you just wanted to test this, you could set this to 10 or something low and just see how it works on you know a smaller data set if you'd like. So I'm just going to go ahead and stop this here since we already have our output file. And what you can do is you can go to either chat.openai.com slash gpt slash discovery. That will give you this overall page where it gives some examples of other chatbots that they've built as sort of boilerplate. Now, if you go within this create a chat or a GPT rather, you can click this. Now you have the option to either build this with natural language. So I could even start it and I could say, I want to build a chat bot for Langchain documentation. And the neat thing with this is it will essentially do a few things on the, in the background, like it might generate a, a profile picture, generate a title for you, and sort of do some of the helpfulness that a lot of us use ChatGPT for, like you know helping out with uh, certain ideas and whatnot. So we'll just let this run for just a moment. And then once it's set up and you want to do further tweaks, or if you don't want to do this natural language setup, so I'll just say yes. We'll use Langchain Guide. So if you don't want to do the natural language setup, you can also just hop right into the configuration. So I see it's generating a profile a photo for us. But what you can do here is, so it's helpful for that initial uh, jump into it, but I'd imagine most people will likely want to tweak this a little bit further. So here we have this cool little Dolly photo that it, it generated. We can, let's call this docu chain. 
Um, you see the instructions. I'm not going to read through all of this, but you get the general sense here. And then it also has these nice sort of prompting questions that you can put in and customize. So you can also turn on and off uh, some of these features. So in this case, I don't need web browsing, uh, code interpreter, or Dolly, uh, since what I'm going to be doing is uh, targeting this uh, output file directly. So to upload the file, as you might expect, just click upload, click that output file. So it's going to be generated at the root of the directory um, of this uh, GPT crawler. Once it's set up, that's pretty much it. You can go ahead and start to query your chatbot. Now, the other thing I wanted to point out is if you're looking to do this within the playground, one thing that I do want to note is while you can set this up from their API, one thing to note is even with their playground is you are going to be incurring costs for the retrieval, all the different tools that you're leveraging, the model and whatnot. So just be mindful of if you're looking to set this up for your own custom uh, offering or what have you, if you are leveraging it, uh, with the uh, OpenAI API and their playground. Just know if you're playing around in here, just be mindful of that. So there's all the pricing that's well laid out on their pricing page, but you're going to be uh, occurring costs for uh, retrieving uh, documents. You're gonna be incurring costs from GPT-4 and it, it can add up relatively quickly depending on usage and whatnot. So just be mindful of that if you're looking to set it up from the API. That's pretty much it for this one. One last thing I wanted to point out is if you do wanna share this with someone is you can send a link directly to them. If you wanna make it public, you'll have to set your uh, name public with within the offering that you have here. And this is going to potentially index it within the coming GPT store. So say if you build something really interesting and novel and a lot of people use it, you could potentially uh, be in for some revenue sharing from OpenAI. So that's it from this one. Hopefully you found this useful. If you did, please like, comment, share, and subscribe. And otherwise, until the next one.